All right, so this is just a quick look inside of this um, HP Spectre X360 convertible model 15T-DF100. I've actually opened up a lot of computers like this. You can see there's these little things here. Um, they hide screws underneath where these rubber pieces are. Okay, so here and here. Sorry, you gotta see my hairy legs. <laughs> but anyways, you gotta peel up the sticker part. Don't peel up the rubber. Um, the customer lost the rubber pieces, I'm assuming. I don't know if they tried to peel it up or the adhesive just sucks. Um, but anyways, their battery was bad and it was pushing up this bottom cover. This cover is actually very difficult to remove. Um, but I think I have other videos showing this model. So if you need to see how to remove it, you can watch those. Basically, you'd have to pry all around and pop it out and use a suction cup to help remove these clips here. <clears throat> all right, you'd have to use a suction cup towards the... Uh, back side here where the hinges are because when you pull on that you can see how the clips they hook this way So it pulls the clips the other direction um, Anyways, we're just doing a quick look you can see the battery su 06 XL um, And then there's the HP spare part number there There's the m.2 PCIe NVMe SSD here wireless card solder to the motherboard um, this thing is so small um, that I'm pretty sure there's no replaceable RAM in here. Um, but let me actually see if I can pop this out and check underneath. Oh, I cut my fingernails and now it's not sharp enough. Oh, God. Let's try. Is the suction cup small enough for this? Oh, man, it's stuck there. Wow, that thing is strong. What in the world? These clips are strong. Can I get my fingernail under there now? Nope. Wow, these clips are way too strong. I can't even get underneath. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it alone because I don't want to end up damaging this computer. Um, because the only issue is their Bluetooth and their battery. Um, I will change it eventually. You can see the fan connector here. It's a snap-in one, like on the MacBook speakers. And you got a little snap-in cable here as well. I'm not sure what that's for. I'll probably find out when I go to replace the battery battery connectors here. Uh, this is like the trackpad, keyboard, keyboard backlight. Um, they don't really label what these are so I guess next time when I open this up we will take a look. But for now that's just a quick look. Hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Alright also the screws um, it uses GIS 1 for all the ones under here and then T5 or Torx 5 screws for the sides. Alright that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys Maybe once I get the battery. Bye.